Since I was a kid, I've noticed that many people, including myself, struggle with concentration and focus. That was until I found this, lion's mane mushroom. And that brought up an interesting question. Can lion's mane improve my concentration and focus in just a few weeks? Lion's mane is a mushroom found in East Asian countries and usually looks like a white pom pom. Aside from the mushroom's appearance, lion's mane is incredibly popular and for good reason. Lion's mane mushroom has the ability to benefit our mind in many different ways. These benefits range from slightly benefiting our mood health and calming anxiety to producing hormones that help create new pathways and connections in the brain. And that's what piqued my interest. I was wondering if this mind mushroom was up to the task of benefiting my cognitive function and also improving my focus. My hypothesis is simple. Can lion's mane mushroom improve cognitive function and focus? And I'm going to attempt to test this with these. Throughout the next two weeks, I'm going to be taking lion's mane mushroom powder and I'm going to go find a spot and read. My average reading rate is a little low, but I believe it's because of my ability to focus. My goal is to finish all six books by the end of the two week period. My hope is to not only finish these books, but to also comprehend what I am reading while I'm reading it. Luckily for me, Lion's Mane not only has the ability to benefit focus, but it's also been linked in benefiting cognitive function, which plays a part in comprehension. Now let's build some new brain connections. YouTube Secrets was a short but detailed guideline on the tactics, strategies, and tips on how to start and run a YouTube channel. It was written by two professional and highly successful YouTubers. Now to talk about the lion's main part. How am I feeling? Throughout this book, I felt like I could gather a lot of the information. I ran through the book reasonably fast, just over a day, and uh, to read and digest about 250 pages. So, on to the next. So, Zero to a Millionaire is a guide full of warnings, tips, personal memoirs of the author's financial history, as well as personal accounts from some of the top financial advisors and investors. I thought the book was pretty good. Go check it out if you're interested. What I would say about how I was feeling on the lion's mane throughout this book. Well, my focus was definitely increased and I think that I was able to grasp the concepts much better than I would have if I hadn't had it. Um, I think that the author was very clear about quite a few things, especially including stuff like index ETFs and um, some investing stuff that might bore you, but I definitely thought it was an interesting book and it has gotten me to stop being afraid of investing. On to the next book. So a quick description on The Richest Man in Babylon. It's a book of parables and lessons on the rules of growing wealth. The main lessons that I gathered are every time you are paid, put away 10% for yourself. Trust your money with those who professionally deal in with it. And once you start to understand those two rules, make your money earn for you. So start investing it. Invest and then reinvest. Now, how I am feeling on the lion's mane. This book tired me out, but I definitely felt surprised because although I was tired, I was still locked in the book. My body definitely wanted to quit, but my mind was locked in. It was not going anywhere. Nothing was going to stop me from finishing this book and finding out the secrets between its pages. Vincent by himself was not what I expected. The book opens with a quick biographical description of Vincent van Gogh's life. This is about 5-10% to 10 of the book. Another 25% is his artwork, which I thought I would learn about, but no. This book was about 70% correspondence that he sent to his family and friends, mostly going to his brother and patron, Theo. I learned about Vincent van Gogh's life almost entirely through his letters. I cannot say I fully enjoyed it by the end, but that's okay. I still enjoy his work. Now, how I felt on the lion's mane. Although this book droned on a bit, I was able to stay focused and really grasp the imagery Vincent painted in his letters to Theo. 
I felt that I really didn't lose interest in the act of reading, just in the content I was taking in. I think Burn Book by the tech reporter Kara Swisher was my favorite book of the week by far. This is a biographical on Kara's career as well as the burst of the Silicon Valley tech industry. This book included encounters with some of the top tech moguls, including Bezos, Zuckerberg, Musk, and even the late and great Steve Jobs. The stories Kara wrote about are insanely funny and seemingly ridiculous, but I have no doubt that they are true. If you're interested in a good nonfiction read, check out Burn Book. You won't regret it. And finally, for the last book, How I Fell on the Lion's Mane Mushroom. I flew through this book. Like I said earlier, this book was engaging, and I think the writing also had something to do with it. But the main reason why I flew through this book was the Lion's Mane Mushroom. I was able to focus. I didn't deviate from the page. I was enjoying and absorbing every single part of this book, and I think that has a lot to do with the lion's mane mushroom. Now, I will say that if you enjoy content, you're obviously going to absorb more, but the ability to focus is still there. I was able to focus and use my cognitive function to absorb more and enjoy the book more as well. So, it's all over. I finished five out of the eight books that I selected. And honestly, I will say that's pretty impressive for me. I don't think I can remember a time when I read five consecutive books in five consecutive days. Now, the reason why I started so late is because I didn't feel anything throughout the first week of Lion's Mane. And that's pretty normal. You're not gonna feel it your first week, but that second week, I really locked in. My cognitive function was definitely working. I was absorbing what was in these books. One thing that I realized about Lion's Mane throughout this entire experiment is that not only did Lion's Mane help me with my focus, which was the main goal, but I was also able to learn quite a lot and absorb more from the books that I was reading. So if you are trying to figure out some way to be able to finish more books in a year, Maybe that's your goal, or absorb more from what you are reading, or you just want to be more productive on tasks, I definitely recommend going and checking out Lion's Mane and trying it for yourself. It only takes about two weeks from my experience uh, to kick in, but everyone is different, so make sure to check and make sure that everything works out for you. This may take up to a whole month to use, but I will tell you, after it starts kicking in, you definitely start noticing just little perks throughout the day, throughout your work, throughout whatever you're doing. If you have checked out Lion's Mane from Bulk Supplements, then I'd be really interested to hear what you guys have to say about your experiences. Leave them down in the comments below, and I will be personally going and checking those out. Number two, if you are interested in Bulk Supplements Lion's Mane, you can actually find a link down below straight to our site to go grab some yourself. Number three, if you enjoyed this content and enjoyed my little experiment, then please go like this video. We would love to hear your feedback and that's how we figure out what we're doing right. All right, check you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to hear more info on over 500 products.